everyone, it's Ed DaCosta, and you have found my Get Edified video blog for Wednesday, December 17th, 2014. As you know, I'm an executive coach, and I talk to lots of senior level executives about you know, what their accomplishments are, where they are, and where they're going. And what I find very, very interesting is there are certain people that have um, very negative views of failing, and then there are those that have very, very empowering perspectives on so-called failure. So the subject this week is fail like a scientist. And yes, engineers, scientists like myself have a different perspective than many other uh, professions. Now, it's not exclusive to scientists. You may have it, uh, have this healthy mindset and not be a scientist. But here's the point. For many people, when they have a setback, when things don't go the way they plan, they get discouraged. And they may, because of that discouragement, um, slow down or even cease their attempts, their efforts to reach a particular goal, outcome, project, or what have you. Whereas the scientific mindset says, at the beginning of the process, they recognize that the experimentation is part of the process. And that almost by definition, with very, very rare exceptions, the first experiment is not going to go as planned. The second, the third, the fourth, etc., etc. But through each so-called failure, you're going to gain knowledge. You're going to gain information and understanding that will, in fact, help you with the next experiment. Now, whether it's a fact or whether it's just urban myth, you've probably heard that Thomas Edison, you know, tried somewhere around 10,000 different experiments in order to create the incandescent bulb, the light bulb. And yet, when asked about this, I wasn't there, so I don't know if it's true, but I've heard it a million times. And whether it's true or not, it, it, it serves to make the point that his perspective was that he hadn't failed 10,000 times, but he had, he had succeeded in not making a light bulb. 9,999 times, and then the 10,000th time, uh, he quote unquote created the light bulb. The point is simply this each of the experiments along the way were not viewed as a sign of discouragement to take energy away, but as ways for you to deduct, use your reason, reasoning skills, use your intelligence to learn so that you didn't actually fail. You just learned something that you didn't know before. So I challenge each and every one of you, as you reflect on 2014, a year that's almost done, don't view the things that didn't go your way as failures. Ask yourself, what did you learn from that experience? What did you learn from, that, uh, from, from the world, from the people that you interacted with where it didn't go as, as you had thought it might? And what can you extract from that experience and apply it uh, going forward in 2015 and beyond. And if you do that, boy, then that failure is going to serve you in the long run. So I hope you found this helpful. Again, my name is Ed DaCosta of eddacosta.com and the upcoming Ascend 90-Day Transformation Program. Wherever you are in this great, big, beautiful world, make it a great day. Yeah.